In this video, I'll be testing the BLE Central application running on the NRF 52840 development kit. This central application is used to connect to the light bulb that we built in the previous tutorial. And I have two boards here. Uh, one of them is uh, actually a Rigato uh, board, which is still, um, it's very uh, similar to the NRF 52840. It has the same chip, but it's in a module and it behaves exactly the same. You can program it using the Sega Embedded Studio. Um, and in this case, it'll behave exactly the same as if you use the NRF52840 development kit from Nordic. So in this case, I have two boards. This board will be acting as a BLE peripheral, the light bulb example that we used in the previous tutorial. And this board will be acting as a BLE central. This replaces the mobile phone application that we used in the previous tutorial, such as Light Blue or NRF Connect. So in this case, we, I have this board running and it is currently scanning, which indica is indicated by LED1 being turned on. Once it finds the target application, the target device, the BLE peripheral, LED2 will turn on and LED1 will be off. And right now I have the BLE peripheral turned off, the, uh, the development kit. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And now we can see LED1 flashed momentarily and then the BLE Central actually discovered the device and connected to it, which is indicated by LED2 being turned on in this case. And in this board, the LEDs are red um, versus green on the Nordic based uh, boards, uh, but they behave, behave exactly the same. The pins are the same and so on. So. In this case, what we'll be testing is we define that button one here on this board will turn on LED two. So if I press button one, you'll notice that LED two is now on. And if I press button two, then LED two is turned off. And this is all using the GAT services and characteristics defined on the BLE peripheral device and interfacing through the BLE central device. And in this case, really uh, using this development kit instead of a, a BLE central on the mobile phone uh, gives you some freedom and flexibility in case you want a dedicated device that controls this light bulb. One of the, in the next tutorials, we'll probably um, look at different applications. For example, one interesting application uh, when we use two development kits to implement this uh, example is that we can use uh, some of the Bluetooth 5 um, features that were introduced, such as especially the coded Phi, which is the long range mode. Um, in mo most mobile phones, if probably not uh, all of them, uh, the coded Phi is not ex uh, existent yet. Um, it's not implemented on any of the phones. So adding this, uh, I think, is a good example of um, the benefit of using two development kits um, based on the updated stacks that support Bluetooth 5.